Ladies and gentlemen, happy Tuesday. This is Zach from Harder, Happier, Healthier. I uh, wanted to talk about something today that <clears throat> always it's it's awesome because like people always oh man, of course the uh, these guys are doing the uh, the yard, so they're gonna be making noise while I'm making a video. But um, what I want to talk about is a question I get like so often, and I you know. I've, I've done a lot of different diets. I've done a lot of different, um, you know, trial and error and like figuring things out. And, you know, everybody keeps asking the same questions. How do I do this? How do I do that? Does this work? Does that work? Um, let me tell you something. You, you have to be willing to try. You have to be willing to put in the effort and you have to be willing to make mistakes if you're going to have results. Okay. So, I know that, you know, the internet's got you convinced that, you know, every time you see somebody, they say, oh, you know, do this and this is going to happen. And, you know, half the time that doesn't happen, right? Um, we've gotten really used to listening to people that, you know, they have their experience and that's great. And I, you know, I think that, you know, listening to people is awesome and, you know, listening to me, that's fine. You know, I, obviously I think I have something to offer people, but. At the end of the day, you got to try. You got to do things, right? You got to put in. You know, uh, there is no, there is no one answer for everyone. Do I think carnivore diet is right for everyone? No, I don't. Mainly not because I don't think it's healthy for them, but mainly because of the the mental, emotional, social aspect of it. A lot of people are going to be miserable because they think that you know food is life, or they you know they live to eat, and they've always done things this way, or you know, how am I going to, you know, go out to eat with friends now that I'm on carnivore? And it's just like this big trouble. And it's this, you know, I'm sorry, but you know, you, you have to be willing to give up things if you want to have something else. And, you know, alcohol doesn't fit into it. And making poor food choices doesn't fit into it, even if it's every now and then. I mean, it takes seven years for seed oils to leave your body. Okay. So is it okay if I go out and, you know, have french fries once every now and then? No, I don't think it is. But that's your choice, okay? So carnivore isn't, uh, you know, there are variations of it. Do I think that it's okay to have fruit every now and then? Sure. Like, fruit is the least toxic. If you need fruit for whatever reason, Paul Saladino seems to think that some people need fruit to for their electrolytes. That might be true, okay? Um, don't listen to the people that are like, oh, only this way works, okay? I see a lot of that. Um, the truth is, this is the truth. All plants are toxic, okay? That's fine. We know that. That is a, that's a fact. Can does that mean that some people can handle them and some people can't? Absolutely. Okay. Something can be toxic, and we have a liver. We have all these different things that are designed to clean ourselves to clean those things out of us. People drink alcohol all the time, and you know they're fine the next day. They may have a headache, but they get over it. Um, does it cause permanent damage? Maybe that's that's a possibility. I think that. Your goal should be to get better every day and to have health, not to find, you know, somebody who does things a certain way or does it this way. And then your life's going to suddenly fit into place because that's unfortunately they're selling you a, a pipe dream. Okay. There is no, there is no one way or, or one size fits all for health. And there are literally people that, that have genetics that one thing that one person does will kill the next person. Those things exist. Okay, so what I want you to do is what I what I push all the time on people is to not look for the answer. Don't look for a study. Okay, studies are done to manipulate behavior. I've said this before. If you need a study to let you know how to eat, you're like there's no real helping you because you you have to be willing to try and see if something works. Right? There's some people that'll say there's 12 year olds that are vegans because somebody told them the meat was bad, or somebody showed them one study. Out of a thousand different studies that have been done, they showed them one study and, and all of a sudden a 12-year-old believes that meat's bad for the rest of their life. And they ruin their health. Ten years goes by and they're destroyed. Okay? It takes – there's people that have been vegan – I, I have friends in, in my Facebook group who have been vegan for 25 years. They will tell you it's dangerous. Okay? That for sure – vegan diet is not a good idea for anybody. It's – human beings have to have meat. There's many essential nutrients that only exist in meat that you have to have to live. So 
can you supplement those? Possibly. Do supplementation work as well as like getting it from regular food? Absolutely not. I know that for a fact. <clears throat> supplementation doesn't always doesn't always work. The 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 quality. Where does the supplement come from? Who knows, right? It could come from someplace in China. You don't even know what that what's in that stuff. So, I stay away from supplements now. Uh, you know, there there's a few things that that I think that you know might be okay, but it's here nor there. The the whole point of this is don't. You know, if you ask me for advice, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to tell you what I do. But don't think, you know, a lot of people, they, they, and then they get frustrated. They're like, oh, I did this and it doesn't work. Well, then try something different, right? Find some, you know, don't necessarily look for somebody to give you the advice because I feel like there's, there's, there's so many chiefs and not enough Indians. You know what I mean? Like everybody's trying to teach everybody else how to do stuff. And I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe in it. I'm not telling you to do something. I'm telling you to try. And I'm even telling you to make mistakes, right? Do I think you can make a permanent mistake at three months with any diet? No, right? So um, carnivore isk might be good for you, okay? M mostly meat or meat-based, as Paul Saladino, might actually work for you. There are some people that have no problem with the effects of toxins from certain plants, okay? He puts them on a spectrum of, I mean, all plants exist on a spectrum of toxicity for sure, okay? Fruit are probably the least toxic, right? Then there's medium toxic. And then there's stuff that's just like like leafy vegetables and salads and stuff like that are absolutely, you know, you should stay away from them. Um, the, the, if you can think about leaves are the part of the plant that's their lifeline. That's their lungs, right? That's how they get energy. So it makes a lot of sense that plant leaves would be the most protected part of the plant. Oh, actually seeds you know the babies or plants babies or seeds so those are probably the most but you know in line i would say that being able to breathe which is the leaves and um you know the seeds the babies those are the most protected okay so try carnivore meat only if that doesn't work you start to feel terrible do a mixture of fruit and car and meat and if that doesn't work and you feel terrible you know, try less meat and more fruit, whatever it is. Don't, but don't think that there's a right or wrong way to do this because there isn't. That's the one thing I've learned is that my, you know, what worked for me on day week one of carnivore doesn't work for me today, right? So, and a lot of that has to do with the healing process of getting away from all the toxins. One thing for sure, no seed oils, right? No canola oil. That is like, that is the number one threat to your health. Seed oils are deadly vegetable oils, plant-based fats, anything like that, stay away from. Like you are designed to eat animal fat. You can eat animal fat all you want. It doesn't cause heart disease. This this is for a fact. The inflammation coming from seed oils does cause heart disease. We know that for a fact. That that, that it's highly inflammatory. We know the mechanism of action. It's very it's very, you know, it, that's not debatable. But I want you to <clears throat> fit and see what works. Okay. Yes. I'll answer the questions and like, let you know, do I think, you know, this is good or this is bad. I'll tell you what I think, but that I could be wrong. Okay. I'm, you know, the whole internet's afraid of being wrong and the whole internet's afraid of trying. And they're all afraid of, you know, the wrong answer or this is going to kill me. And a, a part of being human is being able to you know, make, make those kind of, uh, make those kind of mistakes sometimes, you know? So that's my advice. I want to help. And obviously, you know, I, I love what it's done for me. I love what it's done for my family, but you know, like from, like my wife does better with more fruit and doesn't mean she's eating it all day, but she just feels better on it. So more power to you, you know? Um, I certainly don't think things like rice are good for you because that's a bit, that's a seed, that's a grain. Um, those are absolutely toxic. Those aren't good for you. Um, so just think of health as a, a spectrum. And what I mean by that is, you know, somebody, somebody who's already sick and they eat something that's, uh, you know, toxic for them, they may not feel, they may not feel the effects of it because they have a, uh, they already don't feel well. So somebody like me who eats super clean has been eating only meat for, you know, six, seven months. If I eat 
something that's bad, like something like watermelon that's got that has toxins in it, has oxalates, that actually makes me feel feel bad, right? But does that mean that you know Joe Bob, who's you know been eating whatever for how long, eats a watermelon? He's like, oh, this this makes me feel fine. So like we have there's two different people and have two different responses. The fall from from watermelon for me is higher than somebody than the fall from like drinking alcohol for somebody else, right? So it's our our spectrum of health is so vast and so different that we can't really judge each other on that. We can't really say one thing's going to work for me, one thing's going to work for you. Now, you do your best to try to learn all those loopholes, but man, I get so many questions about it, and I just want people to to make the effort and put in the time to just see what works you know like people some reason they jump on vegan like it's you know like it's their job and it's you know and i know a lot of it has to do with the moral aspect of it and feeling superior but you're not um you know vegan veganism uh people like oh there's all these healthy vegans i mean skinny's not healthy first of all uh vegans break their teeth on lettuce okay it's very well known that vegans have like tooth problems and you know breaking of bone of teeth and bones and stuff because they don't have enough nutrients. I have a long list of people that are ex-vegan that make videos on YouTube and Instagram and you know they're just they'll tell you the truth that they got duped and it's not uh, it's not what it's cracked up to be. Um, you know maybe the extreme on any side is too much. You know it's that's a possibility, but it seems to work for some people. And I say, do what works and fuck everything else, right? Don't listen to me. Don't listen to whoever. Uh, get some ideas from people and say, okay, well, let's try this thing. And if this thing works, that's great. You know, you found something that works and you don't necessarily have to do it exactly the way so, so-and-so did it, you know? That's why for me, you know, I don't, I lead by example. And if my example works, people people will come and ask for more advice and that seems to be what's happening. So I want the best for your health and I want you to find a balance of something that makes you feel good, you know, because we can't just do things that somebody else does and you know, everybody on the internet's got the answer, but they don't, right? They really don't. Um, and neither do I. I just, you know, maybe the answer is to try. Maybe the answer is to make an effort and, you know, Things just work out because you 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 wanted to, right? And I think there's a lot of a lot of evidence that says that our our how we think about certain things is also determines the outcome. And maybe that's true, right? But I will talk to you guys soon. Let me know what you think. Do you think uh, you know you, there's somebody that has all the answers, or do you think that you know there's a one size fits all, or do you think that sometimes you got to make things your own? Do you think it? You got to make it your own, tell, you know, tell me what, what you're doing and what works for you and, you know, other people will see it and they'll make that their own, right? But the dogma has got to stop the, you know, oh, you, you had somebody was beating somebody up on my group the other day for blueberries. I had to stop that, right? It's like, okay, like let people eat blueberries, really? I'm pretty sure blueberries aren't the most toxic of the fruit. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's not that much sugar and sugar toxic. So, you know, if it's got too much sugar, that's not good for your liver. Uh, or fructose, not good for your liver. So, but I mean, I'm not. I tell people all the time, like I want people in my group to do and, and share what works for them. If it's completely different than somebody else, you know, set an example and, and show us why and tell us why. But don't say everybody else who's doing something different is bad because that ain't that isn't going to work. People don't want to listen to that, right? Know the truth, but also know that there's different variations of of you know, what works for different people. So, I love you guys. Let me know. What you think? We'll talk to you soon. Bye.